one of my favorite people on the scene, Brother Shane, because, you know, he's striving for advancement. I got to respect that. He got the illest shirt. So I just told him today is an auspicious day when spiritual technology has a chance to be successful because today is the day in approximately 3100 B.C. when Krishna appeared on a material plane. So he said, do I have what? Glenn, no, 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 no Hollywood, brother. Knowledge. Yeah, so I was telling him that Krishna appeared, so he said, who was Krishna in ancient Kemet? I said, most likely Krishna was Osar, because they were both known as the black one. So right here he has Osiris. Right here he has another pharaoh to Amun. Amun. What's his name? Um, to to um, to Amun? To Amun. Yeah, but um, it was actually um, 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 Imun. Well, well, we'll figure that out later. Well, well let's go into this. Now, this right here is the Nubians coming back into Kemet to restore order. And he pointed out, what are they carrying? Right there, they're carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, which is the, really the Ark of Isis. That, that Ark has nothing to do with the so-called Hebrews, the so-called Jewish Hebrews. That they say is with all these uh, Rastan and uh, the Selassians so talking about the Ark of the Covenant. That belongs to Egypt, not the so-called Ethiopian Hebrews. That their Ethiopian Hebrews, their knowledge came from Egypt. And but they had a separate set. And when they was being chased, they found refuge in Africa. And that's how they, they, they set up their set over there. But this ark right here, this ark right here, that belongs to ISIS. So set, huh? That, Oh, I said. Now, I've heard that the Ark of the Covenant is like um, a communication device. Just like when you study Kabbalah right. and they use the mm -hmm. Sephiroth or they use, um, what's the ephod? The ephod is the breastplate with the 12 jewels on it. Right. Which is used to commune with higher level entities. And they also used to have it uh, when they go into war. They bring them protection. Okay. When they used to go into battle. They used to have the Ark of the Covenant that represents God, so they always had God with them. So that would always protect them in the battle and they would be victorious. Great, great. So this is the comedic origins of the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, it belongs to Kemet. Where is it today? Nobody knows. I've heard stories that it's in Ethiopia. It, it, well, they, have, they claim that it, it, it is in Ethiopia in a church, but that, that looks very suspicious. Well, the garden, the secret, I know that there's a church in Ethiopia that's carved into solid stone in the right. shape of a cross. Right. And they claim that no man built that church, that it was actually built by angelic beings. Mm. This is their mythology. I, I can't confirm or deny. But, right. you know, they do say that the Ark of the Covenant is in, in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. It's in a church in Ethiopia. Nobody can uh, give 100% proof that that is the original Ark. It could be a replica, but we, we're not saying yes, and we're not saying no. I'm sorry. We're not saying yes, Are you trying to get on the no. video, sis? No, no. No? Okay, we're not saying yes, and we're not saying no. But uh, we have to do some research. That's why if we still had our great warrior like Dr. Ben, who, 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 is, who could have given an account of that and give us some more knowledge and tell us about that a little better, he could have go over there and, and, and um, take a look at it and he could uh, really explain it to us and tell us if it really was the original Ark of the Covenant that they have over there in Ethiopia. They claim it that it is, but nobody knows if it's really the true Ark of the Covenant. It could be a replica. All right. Huh? The Ark of the Covenant never existed, to tell you the truth. There was no such thing as Moses, no Aaron. Stand over here, brother. Stand the over here. The tribe of Israel. All deal with the 12 tribe, 12 zodiac, deal with the sun, deal with the story of Jesus and the 12 apostles, deal with the sun and the 12 celestial houses. So the whole thing about the, the, the Ark of the Covenant, this is copycat of the chest of Osiris, or when you look at um with the ancient Egyptian um with the with the, with the, with the, with the with, with the picture of my art. The wing goddess. With the wing goddess, you know what I'm saying? So basically, the Ark of the Covenant is basically the same copycat or the chest of, um, or the steel of Inpu. When Inpu is on, the, um, on, a, on the chest, representing the sarcophagus or the dead, it's the same thing that they just plagiarize. It's nothing. 
Listen, if Ethiopia has all the government, it'll be very powerful right now. But look, yeah. look, look what he's wearing. Look what he's wearing. Yeah, he got his Hexos piece on. <laughs> but look who, look who is there. Yeah, yeah. Look who is there. Okay. It's the Thank same thing. Hey, Hexos and Bezos. All of us end up with the same thing. Well, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot more synchronicities going on. Y'all don't notice, right? Back when you was a kid and you saw the clock say 11-11, you got excited. Right. Now you see 11-11 every day, 4:44 every day, 3:33 every day, 1:11. Like the synchronicities are coming in faster and faster, which right. shows that in some way we're growing, we're coming together. Right. You know. But like I said, it's not for everybody. And it's going to come for who want it. Once you have your mind open and your heart open, only when you get that little spark, all you need is that little spark to ignite you. And it's on. I appreciate your brothers dropping jewels, man. I'm going to name this video the Ark of the Covenant. And check the comments on YouTube to see how the people respond to the information, all right? Check the comments on YouTube. Bless up, family. All right. One love, one love. Anytime y'all want to drop something, come through. All right, yo. Cool.